Hello, welcome to Tail Tinker. Today I'm going to be working on painting a miniature, and I'll be giving a few tips that I think will be useful if you're going to do some painting yourself. The miniature I'm going to be painting is a human cleric from WizKids. What miniature you use doesn't really matter, it's more up to personal preference. If you think it looks good, then go for it. These miniatures come pre-primed, so I don't have to worry about that, and I'm not going to do any cutting off of mold lines because honestly I don't really care that much, but I will be using a toothbrush and some dish soap to wash it to get rid of any factory, I don't know what, gunk. It helps, trust me. <sighs> messy desk. To paint the miniature, I'm going to be using this set of Army Painter War Paints that I got off Amazon. I think it was around $45 Canadian. You can use cheap craft paints and I think even artist acrylics for miniature painting, but mini paints are specially formulated to work really well on miniatures and honestly, just invest in some good paints. For brushes, I've got two random brushes from the dollar store and one slightly more specialized mini painting brush that came with my set of paints. The first thing I'm going to do is base coat the whole mini with the black paint. I just like it better than working off of the light grey primer that comes on the mini. Next I'm going to be base coating all the major sections of the mini, starting out with the silver. I've decided to use purple and orange as the two main colors other than the metallic. It helps to thin your paints out a bit with some water. You don't want them so thin that they're running all over like into the crevices and stuff. That's what the wash is for. You want them to still be able to coat the whole thing, but not so thick that they just glop on all the details. In my opinion, the key to a good miniature painting job isn't detail itself, but the illusion of detail using washes and dry brushes. You can see here that I've dry brushed a lighter purple on top of the cloak to bring out highlights in the higher spots. I use a very fine fine liner to put dots of black ink for the eyes, which I'll clean up later with paint. Now for the wash, which will bring out shadows in all the cracks and crevices. A wash is a really thin, diluted paint. You can make your own, but for miniatures I'd recommend just buying a bottle of wash. Paint the wash over the whole miniature, making sure you don't get too much pooling, but letting it flow where it needs to go. Washes are very powerful and need to be used carefully. After I'm done washing the miniature, I'm going to pick out the highlights with lighter paint. Highlighting the miniature after washing will give it a lot more depth.
Finally, I'm going to do a few gray dry brushes on the base, getting progressively lighter. The base of this miniature is stone tiles, and this is the easiest way to do it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.